Queen Camilla unveiled a statue of Frankie de Torre at Ascot. She attended the awards ceremony held at the Berkshire Circuit during the Kipco British Champions Day last Saturday. A statue of the veteran Italian jockey arrived riding two winners on the day he last raced in Britain. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Dittori, 52, who is moving to the United States, described the work as a humble tribute and an impressive work of art. Dittori said, Ascot meant everything to me. I was 19 when I won my first Group 1 title. In total he won 9 Gold Cups, 7 King Georges and 81 wins at Royal Ascot, including some today. It's amazing to be immortalized on such an amazing route and to have a statue of yourself while you're still alive, wow! The sculpture was designed by Tristram Lewis, who said, it was a real pleasure to work on this project and bring it to life. He described the jockey as a fantastic role model. It has played an important role in Ascot racing for the past 35 years, said Sir Francis Brooke de Tory, Her Majesty's representative and Ascot chairman. He said the one-of-a-kind statue would ensure there will always be a permanent tribute to his achievements on the race course. Camilla, who wore the late Queen Elizabeth's brooch, was assisted by members of the Greencoats who have formed the Royal Ceremonial Guard at Ascot since 1744. Dittori first entered Royal Ascot in 1987 and produced a total of 229 winners. In 1996, he won the Magnificent Seven competing with all seven winners at odds of 25,001. He started the last day of British racing aboard Trawlerman in the Long Distance Cup at Ascot and won the champion stakes with King of Steel in the final run of his British career. 